All right, my friends, I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna actually talk about, um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I am thinking, I really would love to hear from you guys to see what kind of videos would you like to see um, explain. And all of this is new territory for me. So like, I'm just creating videos at this point, um, you know, just for the intent to document what I've learned, a little bit of my journey, and in hopes to learn from you guys, you know, what would be valuable. Um, and, and I intention, you know, initially thought of creating this YouTube channel so that I can create, you know, videos on uh, really storytelling, learn uh, about how to, you know, do illustrations, tutorials. Um, but then, you know, as I really uh, look back, I was using this app, Magic Poser, and just realizing, you know, I'm doing so much in this app that I don't see why anybody wouldn't want to at least see a few of the things that I've been creating. And so maybe my channel will evolve to more of the stuff that I mentioned earlier. But as of right now, I, I just think that it'd be really cool to break down some of these scenes that I've been working on. And, you know, there's so much that went into this scene in particular, the one I'm about to show you, that I, uh, I think I could probably do quite a few videos on this scene alone. Um, and so this video is actually for anyone that would like to um, create an anime or manga background um, or, you know, have, again, uh, someone that's a beginner to 3D modeling or someone that would like to just, you know, create something. And, you know, if you want to be ambitious like myself and create really big scenes, the you know, something that actually is like a city skyline or something that could be really um, the beginning of something that's like a big project or even a video game, uh, I think this video is going to be great for you. So in the scene, you'll notice that, um, just so you're aware, this is actually Kichi Joji Station. Um, this is um, in Tokyo, Japan. And this is a little area where the state, the train station is, is uh, and sorry, it just jumps right whenever I uh, you know, want to center an object, but this is a train station area. So you'll see there's a train in the background, but you know, that's not actually the best place to put that train. I just uh, wanted to at least have that s situated there, but not nonetheless, this is a, a train station area where there's a lot of sh different shops. There's uh, a school um, for those that, you know, are going into I mean, I've actually looked up the area, those that are going into salon work or beauty, and you can even see that there's a lot to the scene, quite a bit, and the lighting is really, you know, doing its job here. You can just almost imagine maybe this is the sunrise or sunset on this area, and there's still so much I'm planning on doing in this uh, scene. As you can see, I'm framing up some of the other locations but i wanted to talk about like i said uh, i may have mentioned this already but i want to talk about uh planning planning out one of these large scenes and in this case i i, I went ahead and looked at google maps to be able to identify just how this is laid out in fact this scene i've been working on since before the new magic poser and i, I was just limited with what was able to be done until I actually um, was able to be a part of the beta test and then you know obviously the new newly released iOS version of this app and in, in, in when I originally started this scene um, using Google Maps I was able to just lay out some lines and when I say lines I mean like the cubes the cube object is is how I actually you can see as I touch parts of the scene you know, it's revealing where all of the uh, cubes went for the planning of this, you know, the scene. But I just basically laid out, this was my first attempt doing it. So it's not as good as I would prefer. I've got other scenes where it's a little bit better. But when you're planning out a big scene, you just got to make sure that you have first the Google Maps or some sort of map ready. Um, if it's a real location, if it's not, you probably want to sketch it out or draw um, out what it's going to look like ultimately. How big is the scene? And you know, I may actually build a little bit bigger than what I what you see here in the scene. 
uh, I intend on having all the way down over here um, to where this road, this road, in fact, let me just bring my cursor here, where this road meets up with this road. So this road and this road connect, uh, maybe somewhere down here. And I just think that it'd be really cool to be able to include all that. I don't know if Magic Composer can handle that depth. Um, I also would love to have the buildings on this side of the road. Um, at least the faces of all the buildings show up. But all I did was just figure it out, okay, where's the roads? Which direction do they face? And let me just go and place some cubes to line it all up. In fact, you can even see it right here in this uh, in this portion of the street because you can see I put the white paint of the streets right here. And all this is, of course, before I finish um, adding some, some buildings as well to it. Um, and so, you know, the next thing you want to do is is you start framing out building by building. Now, again, this was my first attempt at doing this. So now I haven't done a really great job in this in the scene, but really the next thing you want to do is just frame out those buildings. So that way you can be able to um, know where everything's supposed to be placed. In fact, the way I did it originally was just to um, actually take care of the building like um, beams, like maybe the uh, the actual layout. This way I was um, able to also get the angles right too. So you can see each one of these is at a specific angle meeting up with some of the other, see, uh, other cubes that go straight, you know, back and forth. And then there's also these cubes that you know, go at, at another angle. So I'm just, I'm not just putting the location of where these buildings are. As you can see, this is what I did. I did place um, just cubes on the bottom to kind of get the basic location of where they all are. Uh, but then, you know, when it came to framing them, I actually started to put the beams in the angles that the buildings were in. So some in Japan, some of these buildings are, you know, kind of funky. Uh, because you've got like one you've got like this is a great example this building right here this building is at an angle and then it also goes straight back and forth so it's on a road that's at an angle and this road or this building actually just conforms right to the road and then in addition you also have these beams that are also at an angle so you can see these beams right here are at an angle. Just, it's just like a very, I wanna say triangular, but it's not even, that's not even an accurate shape. And then when I actually look at the building itself, like in real life off of Google Earth, cause I use Google Earth along with Google Maps, mostly Google Earth, cause it's a little bit easier to get street view and, and then the building view. Um, but you can see that there's also another angle on this side of the building. So that one's gonna be a fun one to uh, recreate. Uh, just very, very interesting and trying, it's gonna be kind of complicated to line up. But, you know, then you've also got um, some of these other buildings that have like, uh, this one's kind of like a glass house. While this one over here has, you can tell this was made in the 80s, just the way that it was, it was laid out. I have to finish that one. But, you know, sometimes it can seem like you, you get a little ahead of yourself. For me, I do. Um, but I just kind of, I like working on different things and just kind of stopping on something and starting on something else. And, uh, you know, that's just my workflow. Uh, you know, I'm not really doing this for anybody or a project except for those that maybe are on my Patreon that want to have access to these scenes. But, you know, once you have your building laid out, like you, you've mapped the roads, you've then placed, you know, blocks to identify the locations of where some of these buildings are going to go, and then you started to frame them, then, then is the part where you actually start filling out some of the details of this building or the buildings. And so you can even see on this side, um, you know, I've got this white building, which I'm probably the most proud of because it's got a curve that's on the top, which is, you know, again, if you've been following my videos, you know that what I like to do is take take tons of cubes, make them really small, 
and then make them curve so that way it's really easy to uh, um, make some of these unique curves or shapes you can even see that I uh, have this um, <laughs> this just it's, it's just so to me it's a little baffling um, that I was able to do this but again you have the curve here on the top and then you have a curve here in the back um, I, and 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 it all looks seamless I'm, I'm like having a hard time rotating around this building sorry about that oh look at that even better try to center around this building but let's see if I can do it again oh nope it doesn't want to do it maybe I can uh, one more time well there you go I guess it's uh not gonna behave so but nonetheless um, you have just uh, um, let's see if this is locked perfect I'll lock this that one's locked and that one's locked so yeah there we go behaving properly now but yeah so you have uh, this curve on the top and then you know I have the frame of the building but then I have all these windows that I put in here as well and yeah just so much detail in here makes it feel like you're at the real location in some aspects of it like when you get really close or you can look at this street area and and it feels like you're actually either there in person or like or let you, you something that's really surreal maybe a uncanny valley like i'm not really sure here's the actual like maybe a bakery right there but uh, yeah, so, and that, that's really it. In three easy steps. If you wanna make a big scene, again, you just go ahead and you lay out the, the roads. You go ahead and place where you think that the building location should be. And then you start to, you can and start to frame it. You know, it, maybe it's a four step process, but um, then you start to actually make the face of the buildings and all the building details as well. And so I hope that you liked this video and that it was uh, insightful and that you learned something here and that you're able to, you know, start creating some, some really cool, you know, scenes like these. We'll talk to you in the next video.